So far, today seems like a good day. NBA 2K released a brand new trailer for NBA 2K25. In this video, we finna put on them detective caps and point out the small details that you guys may have missed in the new NBA 2K25 trailer. We about to get into all the details. If any of you guys are new here, drop a like, drop a sub. Let's get to the video. It's awesome. What's good, y'all? I'm All City. As always, appreciate you guys tuning in. As I mentioned in the intro, NBA 2K recently dropped a new trailer for NBA 2K25. And I would like to let you guys know that there seems to be an overarching message. And the message that I think 2K was trying to deliver is that they're going to bring the fun back. We're going to play the full trailer in just a second. But I want to let you guys know I took a bunch of screenshots throughout the trailer, showcasing a bunch of small details that I think you guys just might have missed. I would like you guys to see if you could point out some areas of interest. Do what you got to do. Pull out the magnifying glass, whatever it is. Put on your glasses. And let's load up that video, Sherlock. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You okay? It's all good, bro. Please. Nah. We went first last time. We're not here to win a championship. We're here to have fun. You got this. Thanks. And this year's player of the year, everyone. Here we go again. Both teams running out the clock to secure the tie. Now this is basketball. You gotta love this. You know what sucks is that 2K, they really got that gameplay under complete wraps. We got small glimpses of part, but man, 2K is stingy with that gameplay. I thought the trailer was pretty dope. You guys let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. Don't forget to point out some of the things you may have noticed. And for the remainder of this video, we're going to point out all the small details. I'll pull up this first screenshot from the trailer and right off rip, you notice that they have females on the court. And when the two guys bumped each other, you hear a female in the background talking about, uh-uh, we don't do that here. Something else I noticed is that the team name for the two teams playing initially, the red or orange team, they were named casuals and the blue team, they were named hopefuls. Now I find that pretty strange. I don't know exactly what that means because the conversation is usually about casuals or comp. Are the hopefuls supposed to represent the comp scene? Now we know for sure that there's a reason why they chose those particular names to put them on the jerseys. I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Something else I noticed and further proves that they intentionally put these particular the names on the jerseys let's pull up this screenshot of the guy setting a screen his name is patch i'm not sure if 2k is referring to the offense being patched or maybe the defense was being patched and he's the one who's patching defense is this 2k's way of telling us is really going to be about offense in 2k25 or is 2k just reminding us like they showed us in 2k24 we're just one patch away from failure. I also got some screenshots of the park. Now, I'm not certain if this is going to be a park that we'll play in, like in my park, my career, or is this a street ball event? Because I noticed the bulletin board that we had from 2K24, street ball events in the background there. It seems like this is some sort of winter setting. I imagine they're trying to go for a winter setting even though folks out there, even the dude dunking is wearing a tank top. Just leave it to 2K to leave you guys Confucius. In the next park image, we see it's more of like a tropical setting. You see palm trees in the background and it looks like you're in or in front of some sort of fort. The last time I remember seeing a setting like this was in Court Conqueror events. This could possibly be a screenshot from the new King of the Court event that would be taking place every weekend. And in case you guys missed it, NBA 2K25 is introducing NBA 2K16's River City Championship Court. They're bringing that back, so that's going to be dope. I know that's for my team. I imagine they're going to have something substantial for the My Career mode in regards to NBA 2K16's River City Court. I'm not sure if it's going to be a static park that we can play in or if they're going to make it some sort of event that you guys 
may have to travel to. Something else I noticed is that this guy has a Brooklyn t-shirt on. Is it possible that we'll be playing in a Brooklyn park? And before you guys start to think that that's just like a far reaching type of stretch, a second later in the trailer, they show the guy dunking, displaying the chain nets. Chain nets have been confirmed for NBA 2K25. Now those cover the small details that I've noticed. If you guys notice any additional details, definitely share them in the comment section. But now I'd like to dig a little deeper on the overarching message, because it seems to me that they were attempting to display that basketball is soft. I don't know if they're referring to the NBA being soft or their actual game, 2K, has been soft. Leading a lot of you players out there to say that 2K and 2K24 is boring. And there was a lot of you guys out there who labeled 2K24 just boring. They mentioned something along those lines in the trailer. Vince Carter's commentary, here we go again, dribbling the clock out to retain time. The fans in the stands, they're just lackluster. And that was until Tatum and Shea ended up making contact. And that's when things just started moving. Getting back to basketball, what we know basketball to be. Maybe I'm digging a little too deep here, but it looks like 2K at least is trying to market to you guys that they're changing the game. Less 2K, more basketball. All of this is speculation, still to be determined. The second that we receive any additional information, I'll be sure to upload or go live. If any of you guys are new here, definitely consider dropping a like and a sub. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, uh. If you guys are tired of running with randoms and you're looking for players to run with on NBA 2K, come on out and join the All City 2K Discord. The link will be in the description below. Find players and get runs now. Drop a like and drop a sub on your way out. Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, uh.